In this video help, we're going to be covering the auction, event, and scheduling screens. As seen here, we have the auction attendance portal, the event directions, the event weather, the photo portal, the select bid vehicles, the auction bid list, the auction bid tables and uh, table view, the vehicle data details, and the auction vehicle photos. Now, in this particular group of records, and the overview for this is that when you go to an auction, in a lot of cases, you're actually looking at purchasing a vehicle. Or if you're, if you're going to a event, you're looking for the items that you might need as far as inventory, or you're just going to see what's available and maybe purchase something to maybe include in a vehicle that you may want to uh, repair or do restoration on it. So there's a lot of different things that can be included in these in these fields and how you approach the usage of them. Let's go ahead and take a look at the screen. In this particular case, I have a uh, thing that I went to in Scottsdale where the vehicle uh, has a selected photo. This vehicle is the best of show as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you can just by clicking on this, go ahead and replace it with something you use. Say, for example, you took a picture with your uh, iPhone like I did, and then I put the actual image into my screen here because it was in my photo library on my iPhone. You can add it. And then what I did is I described the event and the notes and the, a little bit of information about this particular vehicle, which was the best of show. In this portal over here, this is a list of all the events that you may want to go to or schedule to go to, and the information for the date and time span. And it says right up here, schedule, uh, select portal, enter the scheduled uh, using the event or auction schedule menu options, and that would be for this particular set of items for this screen. Now, this is one record of many of them in here. So for example, if I click on something over here and I want to look at the actual dates and times and basic information, I also can go back over to this screen again and there are a number of records that are available in there. So these are different shows. For example, if I clicked on the row for this particular one, it wouldn't take me there unless I know what record I want to be in. And how do you do that? You go to the list uh, portal as far as the different things. And these are auction attendance portals where you have the individual records. You can either do a search here or you can go into the uh, event directions. Now, I am having some issues today with my VPN and it's not bringing up the actual websites. And now it'll probably do it just because I said that. It usually is failing right now, like it's showing, showing a server error. And what I'm having is my VPN is not going out and pulling these things like I want them to. But basically, this would bring up the map with the directions. This one here would be the event weather, and it would bring up uh, the weather reports for that area. Now, this was functioning a few days ago, but my VPN is acting up, so it's not drawing them down right now. And then I have uh, the auction attendance portal, which I just showed you. The photo library is a place where you can add your own by clicking in here and adding, in this case, either replacing or adding something from the photo library. And you can copy, cut, and paste it, and delete it by just clicking on the field within or tapping on it when you're in the iPhone or iPad. You put the vehicle name, the year, the place or location where you actually saw it, the date, and the, and the location by city, and this is the show event or whatever, and then some comments about it down here on the bottom. If you do want to get rid of something in here, for example, if I have my own in here and you wanted to replace them, just click anywhere in a row and click delete, and it'll delete the record for that thing. So you can either that or overwrite them, like I talked about before, where you go in, and you can actually go into the actual record for that item by clicking on it, and then delete that individual row that when it's highlighted. So I can say delete that one, and it would be gone. Click it, delete, say yes, and it's gone. And it, you could see it removed it. And then if you scroll through these, because it's not all the way to the bottom, it will not scroll at this time. But if you wanted to scroll through them, you could just tap on this, and it would show you the individual pictures uh, for the items. Or you can do a, find, a search up here and pick the item that you're looking for. In this particular case, I can come back down here, and I can say uh, select bid vehicles, uh, the, which is the next item. Now, this pertains to if you're actually in the actual, uh, say for example, Barrett Jackson, and in their Almanac or Magazine, they'll have a vehicle lot number, the date of the auction item, where it's going to be, the vehicle start time, where it actually will be shown, the maker, the model, and the year. And then if you click on that, I have to have something in the row. So I'm going to go back to the first record and see if I've got one there. 
yeah, here we go. If you actually have something in the record at that time and then you click on it, it's going to bring up the actual auction bid list and then you can put in all the information. Typically this information is done when you actually look on the floor or out in a tent or you're walking around the show and you want to take the documentation for it. You can take it right off the information that is either in the book but if you don't have the book, you can have your own information like the vehicle number ID, the date it's going to be done, the auction on time when it's going to be there, the initial bid that you, uh, if you're sitting there and you're taking information, you'd have an initial bid that was offered for it, the top bid, the final bid, and the winner lost. Like in your case, if you're actually bidding on it and you want to put in there something, uh, where you want to actually bid on something, you can either copy, cut, and paste things in there as far as the fields are concerned. Then you'd have the uh, actual auction information about what you feel you want to pay for something and what the auction and final bids are as far as the item is concerned. Now, and down here, you can paste in information about the uh, stuff from the data that or and or type it in there by clicking and then adding the information right into the screen. Now, on the iPad, what a lot of people don't know is that when you pop this up or on the iPhone, you can have a little mic in there and you can actually speak the data and say it in there. But when you do that, make sure you click done before you leave that particular field. I've le learned that there's a little bug in the way that the fields work. Unless you say you're done, what'll happen is it may pop out of the record and then want to come back in again. So be aware of that. That's something that's uh, related to the way that the uh, fields uh, edit within uh, FileMaker. Then you can have additional pictures, and this is a scroll area, so you can go ahead and add as many as you want in here as far as different images. It says scrolling portal. In this particular case, you'd go ahead and go down to the next particular item in the scrolling portal. So you just add something in here by clicking in, add a photo, and then it would put it in there, and you can scroll down to the next and the next. And then if you want to see the larger image of it, just go ahead and click here, and it shows the vehicle picture for that particular image that you have in there and you can also put comments and stuff in there as far as stuff that you want to re uh, retain for your own information and of course being that this is a picture that's available you can either replace it or put a different one in and then it will automatically update and you can either copy cut, or cut it or paste it something in there if you wanted to also if you want to paste it in you can also delete it from the screen if you needed to so what we've covered so far is we did the select bid vehicles, the auction bid list, the auction bid. Now we're going to go to the list table. And this is the list table where all the items that you're interested in will be listed. You can either do a search for the one you want to find if you have a lot of them in there. Or you can go back and you can review a certain vehicle of a time from a different show where you had it on a different bid list and compare what they were selling there for and now what they're selling for here. For example, if you had one of these like this Ford Coupe Model 40 and you had several of them listed at different shows where you had them in there, you have all the information at past shows where you can go back in by just clicking here and now you'd see the information, the year and information for that vehicle data portal and that is the data portal down at the uh, let's see, auction bid table list view and the data portal for data details and then the last one is the vehicle photos that we looked at and we popped in and out but that shows you where it is in the in the navigation where that actual item is at so let's go ahead and recap you use the action event scheduling to create show lists or event lists and you have reference to them and you can jump between them by clicking over here and looking at the actual information and if you had uh, schedule information for the schedule that you want to put in and, and information that's import, important to that actual uh, show and also you can say who's going to attend and you can put your ticket information in here. For example, if I think I go to the first record, I believe I have some stuff in there. Here's some information where I have the narrative and, and the actual information so I can put it in my GPS. And I have the information listed here. I show the ticket price and the ticket uh, number. And if I click here, I can see the uh, data for as far as it's supposed to show you is the actual loading the website for that particular item and in this case it's not going to do it because I'm having trouble with the VPN today and then you get a summary of all the ticket costs at the bottom for all the shows that you've gone to uh, for this particular uh, event or schedule for Barrett Jackson for each one that you went to for all the people that were listed so this would be the summary of all the ticket costs for that show okay so if you have any information or need you need information more or how to use uh, any aspect of this, go ahead and contact us using the do action, 
developer support, go to our website and either start a chat or add a uh, comment or uh, either call us or email us or you can get us on Skype. Thank you.